Oh, what's going on guys? Happy Memorial Day, happy weekend, happy whatever it is by the time you finally see this. This is In The Works Media, and I just got done with a nice weekend, and um, I've always enjoyed Memorial Day. I think it's a very laid-back holiday. It's like a mini 4th of July or something, um, minus the firecrackers or whatever you want to say. But um, if you don't know, I just actually finished a midnight shift, so I was much due for a... For a chance to relax because midnights are very stressful. I had to completely change my sleep schedule and midnights aren't really, it's really hard for the human body to ever adjust to that when you've spent 23 years of your life on a certain schedule of waking up and during the day and sleeping during the night. It was a difficult transition and you can't really, um, you can't really transition into that. You can't really say like, oh, well, you, I stay up late all the time. It's not really the same when you work midnights, but uh Needless to say, it was uh, it went over pretty painlessly. Uh, midnights actually go by pretty quickly. Um, I would assume that most of the time I kind of zone out like most people. But I, I just got back from the Memorial Day Parade, which is, uh, in my city, we actually have the oldest, um, I think it's oldest parade in the United States. It's over 200 years consecutive running. And we, we own the title of the oldest parade running parade or something um if you google it you'll probably find out where i live and you can stalk me and come to my house and probably um bother me for the rest of my life um if you're that kind of person but yeah it was a lot of fun you can see these guys here riding around on like weird bikes those are the shriner guys and they're always there and they ride like madmen they come right up to the edge of the crowd and kind of just go up on wheelies and do these weird little trick things and ride in circles and it's a lot of fun. It's something that kind of reminds me of my youth. I used to go to the parades a lot when I was younger, and you'll notice you notice when you go to a parade, um, it's not really not really the same as it used to be. It's a lot of old people, and it seems like not a lot of it's either really old or like the young young kids that go to these kind of things. So it seems like the American population has kind of lost its uh its pride about parades. It's not not as a uh, not as a big of big of like I guess you would say a spectacle as it used to be. So um. I don't know. I had a I had an enjoyable time. It was a very hot day though. But uh, the one thing I wanted to talk to you guys about, um, sorry, that was a pretty long intro. Was that um, this past weekend? So me and me and my girlfriend and my friend and <coughs> his friend and his fiance's friend, who happens to have two kids, all decided to go to the zoo. And the zoo around here is really nice, and I was really excited about this whole thing. I mean, this happened a while back, but. Um, so we go to the, we're getting ready to go to the zoo, and we get into the car, and we all decide that the mom with the two kids is going to drive. I'm like, all right, she'll be safe, you know. Got the got the kids, got to protect them. Um, not really worried about that. So we get in the car, and this lady is driving like a nut. She is absolutely crazy. She's swerving all over the road, coming up to the people, you know, changing lanes at the speed of light. And this lady has had a history of like a pretty, I don't know what, I don't really know what you would say, a pretty sketchy history. She's been in and out of like rehab clinics. Um, but that was back when she was like younger, you know, closer to when she got out of high school. Um, not so much when she had kids. So I'm like, you know, this, there's no way that we're going to, you know, I trust this lady too with my life. I have to, because I don't really have a choice. So um, we're getting, we're going, we're going, we're going. This this lady is just, oh my gosh, driving like a madman. And her two kids are in the back. And I'm like, why would you be driving like this with your kids in the back? Well, anyways, we're going along and <clears throat> we finally get to the zoo safe. Um, she has to go park the car and she's gone forever. And when she's parking the car, we don't see her for probably the best, better part of an hour. And when she gets back, she looks like she had seen a ghost. She was just like completely out of it. So, you know, we have our day at the zoo and her uh, her boyfriend's with us and we, you know, we have our day at the zoo and it, it goes by pretty flawlessly, even though the kids were getting on our nerves. But then on the ride back, oh my God, we, okay, so we get to the car and we're driving back and this chick is just all over the road. I, I'm seriously like everybody else in the car is sleeping, including the kids. And I'm just like, am I the only one witnessing this? They like, she's like coming up on this, these trucks and like just. Oh, driving like an idiot. So she gets she gets to this. We get to the point where this lady is like um, completely zoned out. I'm looking at her. I'm like, okay, this is we're going to die. This is going to be it right here. This is this is my last words. I'm I'm not going to think anything else. So I wake my friend up. I'm like, dude, she looks completely out of it. And right on cue, as soon as I say that, she comes up on the back of the semi and just slams on the brakes. And we're like, what the heck? So. Um, needless to say, everybody in the car woke up at this point and we're all like, uh, okay. And I, I seem like, I feel like I'm the only one who's really concerned by, by the way that she's acting. Well, anyways, we get home safe and sound, obviously, and I do not die. Well, it turns out that the day after we get home, this chick pieces out and just abandons her family. 
And it's, that sounds pretty horrible, and it is horrible. I don't like to make jokes about that or anything, but she abandons her family. It turns out that she had lost her job, and her car was repossessed. And the kids were left with the mom and dad, or the uh, her mom and dad. And it turns out that she was actually on the run and had been using, you know, like, crack and stuff this whole time. So this whole time, we're going on this peaceful little trip to the zoo. I'm riding, you know, shotgun with a crackhead. Um, I never ever thought in a million years I would even meet someone who does crack. I mean, how often do you ever meet someone who actually does crack? I mean, come on, crack, that's like the hardest drug there is. But anyways, I I never thought I would ride in a car with someone or even, you know, (laughs) put my life on the line for someone. And apparently this chick is still on the run. She is still trying to um, get her next fix, which is horrible for the kids. And you know, I hate to see people fall into drug stuff, and I know that um, my friend and his fiance are probably pretty upset about the whole thing, because they were, you know, she was a good friend of theirs, and um, I really don't feel bad, because she almost killed us. Um, I have no sympathy for a crackhead. I don't know about you guys. Uh, crackheads are not my friend. I do not want to be friends with Charlie Sheen. Sorry, sorry, Charlie. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it was a pretty interesting weekend um definitely a weird transition from going from working midnights into um riding with crackheads but needless to say i survived and now i get to start my work week again but anyways i hope you guys had a pretty good memorial day um this is a pretty exciting game i hope you guys enjoyed it feel free to rate if you feel the need but i'll see you guys next time peace